we can no longer think of climate change as a problem for the future. It's already affecting the lives of millions of people across the globe, including those that live and work in Surrey. In recent years, we've seen an increase in devastating floods and wildfires across Surrey and the rest of the world. Through collective climate action, we want to make Surrey a cleaner, greener, healthier place with a vibrant communities and a thriving economy. In July 2019, Surrey County Council declared a climate change emergency. In April 2020, we set out our climate change strategy, a science-led piece of work which sets out our commitment to going carbon neutral as an organisation by 2030 and as a county by 2050. We have now published our first five-year plan setting out how we're going to achieve this. In Surrey, 41% of our admissions are from transport. That's higher than the average in the southeast of England. And of this, 68% is private vehicles. We will be encouraging more residents and businesses to leave their cars at home and choose to walk or cycle or take public transport. This will help to reduce harmful admissions that contribute towards global warming and affect the health of people and wildlife. We're looking to support this change through more cycle lanes, better bus provision, and when people do still need to use their car, we're supporting the switch to electric with the installing of electric charging vehicle points across Surrey. 28% of Surrey's admissions come from the gas, heating oil and electricity used to light and heat our homes. We're asking residents to make improvements by draft proofing, switching to low carbon systems and installing solar panels in their homes. As well as helping the environment, these changes can help reduce bills. Of course, we also need to get our own house in order. We're changing our fleet of vehicles to be electric, retrofitting our buildings and changing the way we work to reduce our carbon consumption as a county. We know that the green economy is essential to achieving our aims. We are supporting businesses through our grant funding programme Lowcase and through our Green Skills Academy. We also need to focus on our land and green spaces and make sure that we use them to provide that climate resilience that we are looking for. It's really important that we have effective land management to not only store carbon for mitigation purposes, but also adaptation in the form of reducing flooding, for example, and increasing biodiversity as well. Growing food locally and sustainably is an important part of reducing our carbon footprint. Improving habitats will allow our wildlife to thrive. We are all part of one ecosystem. With my work within the community, I hear from different people and I hear concerns about, well, what's the point of doing anything because the bigger companies are not doing enough, the larger countries are not doing enough to reduce carbon emissions. And what I would say is that every little counts. We can work with Surrey County Council to tackle climate change through joining a community group, especially in Surrey, there's so many climate hubs that have set up. Over the pandemic, we were really good. We got involved in street groups, we supported each other. Why not take that to the next step now forward? and address the climate agenda. A lot of the emitters are out of the control of the council, so we really need to work on this together. We hear the words climate emergency, but unfortunately that's not reflected in our action. I've got family, we all got family, we've got loved ones, and I just feel that we need to think about their future and what sort of conditions they're going to be living in. We're working together to tackle the climate emergency. emergency.